Hey guys, I'm back again, and this is part two, three, four, whatever you want to call it, of my June book haul. This is my Target books. I got one, two, three, four, five Target books. Um, I really didn't know much about Target. I didn't know they had a really good selection of books. I've always gone to Barnes & Noble or Walmart or Amazon, and then I went to Target because I was looking for this one book, and I found it there for like $12, and I fell in love with the selection of books that they had up at Target, so that's now where I go to get my books. But... The first book that I've been looking for and I found there was Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I finished this book. I love this book. I gave this book four stars. It is so cute. It's about two girl, two girls, a guy and a girl, Sydney and Ridge. And they, she's 22 because I like adult, new adult temper and not young adult because I like to deal with the more adult problems because I am an adult. I'm 26, 27, 26. I always forget. Um... So I like to kind of deal with those problems. But it's just really cute. And what's really cool about this is there's a soundtrack to it. So you listen to it when they show the songs. And it's just, it was such an amazing read. Such an amazing experience. Colleen Hoover, I love. I want to get more books from her. She's just so sweet looking. She's so cute. And I, I love this book. This book was so good. And I kind of knew it was going to happen at the end, but I'm really glad. Like, it was it was really sweet. And I was smiling when I was reading the book. And it was a really good experience. And I loved it. Then after that, I went, well, it was the same trip I got that one. And then I picked up this one. It was the last copy there, and it was 20% off, so I picked it up. Next to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I've heard everybody talk about this. The cover is just beautiful. I like how it looks like a Sharpie mark is written on it. And some of it's imperfect. Like it just, it's a really cute book. And underneath it's pink and white. This is about a girl named Laura Jean. She writes to all the boys that she's loved before from like school and everything in camp. And writes them letters like saying goodbye and how she loved this and loved that about them. Puts him in a hat box so she never has to deal with it and she kind of goes on with her life. Well, her letters somehow, I won't tell you why because it's spoiler, gets out and all the boys now are coming to her and being like, oh, you like this? Da, 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 da. And one of them, this is not a spoiler, one of them she wrote was her sister's boyfriend, Josh. So she has to kind of deal with that, come to terms with that. And instead of dealing with it like a normal person would, she kind of like does it in a total opposite of what I would have done in the situation. But it was just really cute and I loved it. I have another book by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, uh, Burn for Burn, which I'm definitely probably going to read because I flew through this book. It took me two days to read and I'm a slow reader, but two days and it was 355 pages and I never wanted it to end. And this is what she looks like. So cute. And I love this book. <laughs> then I went back because I had bought Eleanor and Park and Fangirl, which you would have seen in my haul. I didn't love Eleanor and Park, really. I didn't. I couldn't get into it, I think, because it was just more too high schoolish for me. Even though this was kind of high schoolish, but not as high school as that one was. Um, and Fangirl, I was just, I don't know. I just wasn't really into it. So... I brought them back to Target and I got store credit and then I bought these three books and one of these books I heard was really good so I picked it up. Meal but two I really didn't know much about but I heard about them around. Um, so the first one is Rule, a marked men novel by Jay Crownover. And Jay Crownover is so cute. She reminds me so much of Colin. So cute. Um... I've heard that this is really good. I can't remember her channel, but she talks so much about this series. And I wanted to pick it up. So Target had it for, I think, $11 and 20% off the title price, which was $13. So I picked it up. Um, it's about this girl and this boy. Um, the girl is his twin brother's girlfriend, but his twin brother died. And he likes her and how they cope with that. And it just it sounded really good. And there's a couple of other books in the series. Jet and Rome and Nash. And it just sounds like really cute. Contemporary. Then I was looking around and I picked up this book. I was going to get Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, I think it is. But I saw this and this just intrigued me. The cover, the synopsis in the back. I just loved it all. 
and it's The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmacute, Red Remerson. I just, I love the cover of it. Um, and it's a 20, 20 year old girl, Cameron Bennett. She all of a sudden boards a Greyhound bus ready to find herself. Instead, she finds this boy and how they go on dealing with that and the emotions and secrets that the boy has. And she literally just is tired of her life. She gets on a Greyhound bus and leaves and just goes somewhere. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So and it was really thick. And I love thick contemporaries because some contemporaries are like small. I like really thick contemporaries. Um, and this just sounded really good. And again, it was 20% off. Then the last book I got, I didn't know much about it. I watched, I cannot remember the channel. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, a girl who did a book haul and she got two books from Target and this was one of them and it sounded really good. So I saw it there for 20% off and I picked it up. And it is The Truth About Harry Hubert Affair by Jewel Dicker. I love the cover. It's got the French flaps because it is actually in French and it was translated into English. This is the international best-selling novel. Um, and the, the author is cute too. Cutie cutie. And uh, this was $18. I got it for like 30% off, 40% off. So I picked it up definitely. It is a real chunker of a book. It is thick. It's like almost 700 pages, I think. Um, but it is about this boy. He is a writer. Well, not a boy. He's... He's 33, he, um, he's a novelist. He is kind of stuck in writer's block, so he goes to his mentor, Harry Kubert, and Harry says, you can spend you know, the time at my cabin, my cabin, not cabin, my cabin, and try to get rid of the writer's block. And he discovers that Harry is being framed for the murder of a girl that was missing a 15 year old girl and he has to try to solve it and find out what happened to her and try to clear his mentor's name. So it sounds really good. It's like a book within a book. And the back I'll read because it's really short. It says, a missing 15 year old girl, a revered novelist, his ambitious young prodigy and the race to uncover the truth about the Harry Hubert affair. The great thrill that everyone has been waiting for since the Millennium Trilogy of Stig Larsson. So it's kind of like the girl who kicked the horn's nest, and I never read that book, but this just sounded really cute, and I love the cover, and I love the French flaps, and I love how it feels. It just feels so wonderful. I've heard mixed reviews on this. This is the book I'm picking up next, so hopefully it's good, and I hope you guys enjoyed my book haul. I can't really pick up all the books like some booktubers do because I'm sitting on the floor filming, and I have way too many books. If I can try to do it, I guess, without it falling down on me. Um, here's some, some of them. Ah, that's all I can do. I can't pick up the rest of them. Because they'll all fall. But I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, if you read any of these books, comment below. I love to talk about these books. And I will see you in my June wrap-up. Bye, guys. Keep calm right on.